Good morning, Aelin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's date is October 19th, and today's day of recognition is National Chocolate Cupcake Day. Now over to Mr. Spaney. And Mr. Minsoni does. And Mr. Minsoni does. You can go first. I feel like a chocolate cupcake today. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds good. Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you're having a great day to start your day already. Just a couple of reminders. First of all, man, it is dark outside this morning and foggy. So just some reminders about safe walking. Make sure you're using sidewalks. Make sure you're using crosswalks. Make sure that you are looking both ways before you cross the street. Don't assume people are going to stop, especially when it is dark. So please be very careful out there. If you ride a bike, same thing. Please be careful out there. Wear your helmets. Um, we just want everybody to be safe as they come to school and as they go back home again. So please, please be careful. All right. I wanted to give a shout out to Colton Zender. Colton was uh, recognized as our 8th grade student representative to the Comprehensive School Improvement Planning Team. That's a big deal. Uh, he will serve as the 8th grade student rep. Riley Welch has already been selected last year as our 8th grade rep and is currently serving as our ninth grade rep. So Colton Zender and Riley Welch, thank you for your service to your school. We have four Aylin Strong folks this morning. Our first one is Nina Nelson, nominated by Mrs. Warren for being service-oriented. Help put up chairs at the end of the day. Thank you, Nina. And we have Riley McGowan, nominated by Miss Stone for being responsible and scholastic, finished warm-up promptly, and volunteered to share some answers on the board. Nice job, Riley. Brooke Harris, nominated by Mr. Miller, uh, our campus security officer, for being responsible, demonstrated courage in a difficult situation. Way to go, Brooke. And Brody Callanan, nominated by Miss Stabio for being service-oriented, returned something he found in the bathrooms. So Brody Callanan, Brooke Harris, Riley McGowan, and Nina Nelson come down to the main office and claim your prize. You are Aylin Strong. Mr. Spanny, what's hey, up? Hey, exciting news. The pink Aylin Spirit shirts are in. And this morning, either during the time you're listening to announcements, or maybe I will have already been there, I'm not sure, we're trying, uh, each first period class is going to receive a little roster of students who purchased their pink spirit shirt. All we ask teachers to do is help us with distributing the shirts to the students in your class who bought one. Students, you need to initial that you receive the shirt, and then this white piece of paper and any leftover shirts of students who are absent need to come down to room 154. So the first period rep can take care of that. Bring me the white form and any leftover shirts. Uh, we can start wearing this stuff Monday if you like, because next week is Breast Cancer Awareness Week. So thanks so much to everyone, all 278 of you, in fact, who bought Alan Pink Spirit shirts. That is amazing. I think just in alone, with that, we raised about $1,300 for Susan G. Cohen Foundation just in the sale of our shirts. Awesome job. There you go. Yep, back to you guys. Congratulations to the Ailing Girls Cross Country Team for their win over Glacier View yesterday. Chloe Robertson took first place, Molly Bagneski was second, Maddie Spence was third, and Kyla Coulter was fourth, and Erica Hoshi er Earhart was eighth. The team ended their regular season four and two. They head to the conference me on Tuesday. Congratulations, ladies. Girls interested in participating on the 2018-19 PHS Girls Bowling Team, there will be an informational meeting at PHS in room 324 at 3 p.m. on Monday, October 22nd. Diversity Club will be starting on Monday, October 23rd. Please join us if you are interested in learning about other cultures and if you want to share your own culture with others. During Diversity Club, we will explore art, games, celebrations, traditions, foods, and religions from around the world. The club will meet one to two times per month. Days will be given at the first meeting, and we will meet from 2.20 to 4.14, and the activity bus is available. This club is open to the first 20 students. Sign-up sheet is outside Ms. Smith's door in Portable 1. This week, we will be playing co-ed intramural, intramural volleyball on Wednesday, October 24th, in the gym at 2.30. Bring your friends and join us for some fun and exercise. See you after school at 2.30. Mark your calendars for next week, as the week of October 22nd to the 26th has been officially proclaimed as Breast Cancer Awareness Week. There are many ways you can help out. First, you can support cancer by donating cash and change during lunches all next week. 
Tuesday will be Hat Pass Day. Students may purchase a Hat Pass for only $1 in the Commons before school. In addition, next Wednesday has been designated as Pink Out Day at Aylin. All students and staff are encouraged to wear lots of pink clothing. There will even be a large group photo taken on Wednesday morning of all the students wearing pink. Of course, you are encouraged to wear pink every day next week. This is also a grade level competition for donations brought in, with the winning class earning precious spirit points. All proceeds go directly to the Puget Sound chapter of the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Don't miss out on the 2018-2019 yearbook. Order yours in the office for $25. If you have any pictures of Aylin students, such as fall sports, fair pictures, walkathon, spirit days, or assemblies, email Mrs. Lawrence or see a yearbook kid at your lunch. Ninth grade girls basketball player preseason is meeting October 25th at 12 o'clock p.m. in room 320 at PHS. On November 12th, there is no school, but it is the first day of tryouts. Time for tryouts is November 12th, 12 to 2.30, and November 13th and 14th, 4.30 and 6.45. The week, of, the week of October 15th through 19th has been officially proclaimed as Custodian Appreciation Week in honor of our awesome custodial staff. The Aylin community would like to recognize, honor, and pay tribute to Catherine, George, Matt, and Luba for all they do here at Aylin. Be sure to show your appreciation by thanking our custodians when you see them this week. Let's also do what we can to make their job a little easier. Now for the Aylin birthdays. Today's Aylin birthdays are Grace Fuller and Nicole Richardson, and the weekend birthdays are Ethan May, Alan Hernandez, Wade Brem, Yana Let Gomez, Madeline Johan and Madeline Johansson. And the famous birthday today is pop singer Sean Price. Today's Snapple fact of the day is an earthquake in 1812 caused the Mississippi River to flow backwards. Aylin, have a fantastic Friday.